June 4, 1940. Nazi forces enter Paris. Within 10 days, they control the entire city. The former city of light waits for the Allies to arrive and lift the shadow that has fallen over Paris. However, the heroism of D-Day will have been for nothing if the Allies cannot hold the land beyond the beaches of Normandy. St. Lowe would be the first battle of many in which American soldiers would attack a German occupied city. The beginning of the Battle of St. Lo was marked by bombardments from artillery pieces and from the air. The hedgerow fighting that took place at St. Lo was dangerous and deadly. Soldiers would jump from one hedge to charge another, not knowing if it would be defended or not. The battle was also fought on the hilltops surrounding the city, the main being 122. The Waffen SS had the main line of defense there. Finally, the battle was concluded in the city itself. Many p men, planes, and buildings fell in what was the beginning of the liberation of France. yards we were lucky we were told that this hill would be taken at all cost all hell broke loose I mean right right off the bat shells coming right all the way around they were being hit before they got up to the front line they're supposed to be in relief they were getting hit as they came up and you hear them uh, screaming for help all over the fields and, and all that kind of thing I was in a, in a foxhole with, with one of my guys and a large caliber, I assumed it was an 88. You know, we're, we're standing there together, and it came by and took his head off. city lies in utter destruction. The only thing remaining is the Notre Dame Church. The Battle of St. Lo is just the beginning of the Allied liberation of France. It is a humble beginning but will not be forgotten. <laughs>